Well, welcome to the Post Show Debrief. Great to have you with us uh, today talking with uh, Senator Jim DeMint about defunding uh, public broadcasting and uh, and NPR. I, I love what the senator said. He said, you know, there are two basic facts that control his view on uh, this business of taxpayer money for both uh, NPR and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. He said those two facts are we can't afford it and they don't need it. And by the way, he was supported in that by the recently uh, fired Ron Schiller, the fundraiser, the senior vice president of NPR, who said the same thing, that they would be better off without federal funding. Senator DeMint and his colleague, Senator Tom Coburn, uh, both want to oblige uh, NPR and remove federal tax dollars. Uh, frankly, I see no reason why that, that money was ever proffered to begin with. Uh, uh, but amongst the other issues facing these folks in Washington, D.C., uh, the budget, still no progress. Both parties, Republicans and Democrats alike, are playing at the margin. They, the Democrats want to you know, cut spending for fiscal 2011 by four, a little over $4 billion. The Republicans, about $60 billion. Guess what? We have a deficit for this fiscal year of almost $1.7 trillion dollars. And they can't come to terms on a couple of uh, a couple of billion dollars. Uh, and this is the kind of nonsense uh, that uh, that's, that's frankly gotten us in this trouble uh, uh, over the course of the past few decades. Uh, and in Madison, Wisconsin, as I've been saying uh, today on the radio, I, I'm not used to saying these words. The Republicans outsmarted the Democrats. That usually it's the other way when we're talking about politics and legislative uh, maneuvers. But the Republicans managed to push through their agenda, which was to strip most public employees uh, in Wisconsin, state employees, of collective bargaining rights and to ram that legislation through. They got it done despite the absence of those cowardly 14 Democratic senators, for whatever reason, who decided it was a brilliant idea to run off to Illinois so that they wouldn't have to uh, witness a vote that would have resulted in precisely what they're going to witness anyway, which is the stripping of collective bargaining powers from those uh, those public employee unions. Um, an, an astonishing, astonishing display. Um, and the governor is signing that legislation as quickly as he can. Um, so things are changing rapidly. Organized labor is having a fit in this country. And... Madison, Wisconsin is just a stopover for what is uh, a, a major, major effort across the country to confront public employee unions and to roll back powers that the Republican Party in particular believes they should never have been given. Uh, that's it for now. We look forward to seeing you soon on the radio. But before we leave, a reminder, please, join me uh, Monday, March 14th, this coming Monday, uh, for the debut of our new show on Fox Business Network, The Lou Dobbs Show, The Lou Dobbs Tonight Show. That's 7 p.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday, every night on the Fox Business Network.